Roosevelt, you've made it to the stage. Yeah! We saw the emotion, you know, when when your when your name was called. What does what does this moment mean to you? Man, it means everything, you know. Um, been five years of amateur fighting and you know a year and a half of pro fighting, so yeah, it feels good. You know, this is what we work for. This is what I train hard for. So, sacrificed a lot, time away from my kids, my family. So you know, this is this is what is this is what it is. You know, it's interesting. We don't hear a lot of people with that extensive of an, of an amateur career. Why was that your strategy to, to spend that much time as an amateur? Well, I, I only I had seven fights as an amateur. Um, I just wanted to get 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 focused. You know. Um, I had a lot of stuff to work on, like my striking, my ground game. My ground game was really bad. Um, so, you know, I just had a lot of stuff to work on, you know. And then when my coaches thought I was right, uh, you know, they told me, and, you know, that's just how it played out. Nice. It was a very impressive performance tonight. What did, what did you think about your, your fight in there tonight? Man, I wish I could have stood up and struck, uh, strike a little more with him. Um, but, you know, he was just pushing, pushing in so hard. So, you know, I, I didn't want to get caught, chance to get caught. And then when I took him down the first round, I was like, yeah, I can do this. I was like, I wasn't breathing hard. You know, the air was a little cold on my lungs, but, you know, I was still good. Like, I was like, you know, I could, I could do this. I could, like, put the pressure on him. He couldn't get up. So if you can't get up, go into the second round, I'm going to put you back down, make you work, get up again, you know. So, yeah. It was a great night of fights tonight. As you were getting ready, I mean, were you – were you watching those other performances? Were you kind of weighing what it would take to get a get a contract tonight? No, nah, I mean, once once I seen the first fight end quick, I just had to get my mind ready on my fight. I was like, okay, these fights can go quick. You know, we had a lot of big boys here. So I'm like, yeah, you know, all it takes is that one knockout punch. And, you know, and I was fifth fight, but it felt like I was first fight. So, yeah, I just had to get my mind ready. I wasn't really worried about nothing. Um, you know, coming into the fight, I knew Dana White, Sean Shelby was right there. But I tried to push them to the back, like, like when I'm walking out, put like a, a black screen right there, like I don't see them, you know. I try not to look at them, like, you no, know, don't we worry about them. We're gonna worry about them after the fight, and that's why after the fight, I looked at them like, I'm ready, you know. So, <laughs> so you know, that, yeah, that's just what it is. What changes now for you? You think? I mean, does does this do anything different for your training, your life, anything like that? I mean, now that you know that you're in the UFC. Well, yeah, you know, um, it definitely changes a lot. Um, I gotta be more dedicated. Even though I was dedicated before, but now I gotta be even more dedicated. Cause I need to get to the least, at least top ten. You know, show the world that I belong with a top five. I feel like I belong with top five. So I gotta really push the pace. I gotta train even harder now. Um, eat cleaner. You know, just dedicate my life to it. Now I dedicated it before, but you know now it's different. Like I said, um, the first journey I was on was to get to UFC, and now I kicked that door down. And now I got another journey which is to get to the title, you know what I'm trying to say? Or at least make my name as one of the best in the world. So, you know, we got a long way to go. You know, we're going to hit some bumps and bruises, but, you know, we're going to take it as far as we can. When, oh, I'm sorry. When you, uh, you, been, you were doing the amateur fights for five years, mm -hmm. and does, what, what point did you go, this is what I want to do for a career, I want to be in the UFC? Um, I want to say after my third fight. After my third fight, you know, I, I, won, I lost my first one, and then I went on a two-fight winning streak. And then, you know, I was just watching watching UFC, um, you know, like Paul Felder, like Nate Diaz. And I was just sort of like, man, you know, I ain't making some money. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, you know, I, I like fighting. You know, this is real fun. So, you know, maybe, you know, I can, I can take it there. So um, once I met my coach, Adam, you know, he put it in my head like, hey, you can make it. You can do it. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, don't doubt yourself. So. Yeah, I, after that, I've just been dedicated to it, you know, yeah. dedicated to making it. Any fighters that you uh, look up to? Yeah, um, I love Paul Felder, man. I, I try. I see him today in the elevator, but I ain't want to be no fanboy and like, hey, Paul Felder, what's up? You know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> so I was like, you know, I'm just going to just brush it off like, you know, what's up? Um, Nate Diaz, you know, I trained with Nate Diaz once. Um, he beat me up. I was an amateur, so... You know, I was laughing like he was—he was talking shit the whole fight, the whole round, and like I was just laughing. He probably don't even remember me, you know. But it was like it was a—it touched me. You know what I'm trying to say? That he even won and sparred with me. I was only like my second fight in. Um, there's a lot, man. John Jones, I really I, like. I love his style. You know, Conor McGregor, like everybody. You know, anybody who made it there, that's doing it. You know, I look up to him. You know what I'm trying to say? Just to be better than him. You know what I mean? So, yeah. What's the first step in the UFC? You have a, a, an eye on a name or a card or a city or a date? What, what camera do I look into? Mike Trezano. I know you hear me. I'm coming for you, boy. You're lucky I didn't get in that tough house. If I would have got in there, you would have had some problems. But I'm coming for you. Congratulations. Just be ready for me. Is that a, a long-standing rivalry there? No, nah, not even. It's just, 
you know, I, I tried out for the Tough House, and like I was like, man, I think I got it, you know. I was like, I think I got it, and they ain't get, they ain't, uh, they ain't pick me, unfortunately. Um, and like I just watched the show, and I'm like, man, like I could have really been something in there, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, like not, not, no, no offense to all them fighters, they made it, they did great, but man, like. Like y'all, y'all, y'all could have did way better. You know what I'm trying to say? I know I could do way better. And he won the tub. He won it. So you know, now you gotta come with comes with that. And that's people calling you out. So Mike Trezano, whatever camera, I'm coming for you. You know, feel me? At which point after uh, after those tryouts, did you get the call to come on the contenders? Um. How did that process go. Well, so I tried out in January on the Tough House. Um, I had a fight with Bellator. And then after when they did, when the Tough House tried me, that I fought for Bellator. Um, I was telling my manager, I was like, you know, I don't want to be with them. I was like, uh, tell like the uh, summer coming, like a tennis series. Tell Sean Shelby I'm ready. I like, tell him I want it. Tell him you know, you know, I just this is what I'm looking for. This is gonna be my door, my doorway right here. And he did it. And then when we got the call, you know, I remember just being in the bathroom, and then my manager called me. He was like, he was like, yeah, we got the tennis shoes. I went to run around the house and I slipped, fell, and it was all, it was just crazy, you know what I mean? And you know, my kids were jumping around, happy. They didn't even know what we had, it was happy for, you know what I'm trying to say? But it just felt good, you know. I had to make it count, so yeah, we made it count. How are you gonna celebrate? I don't. Know, we we gonna celebrate. Maybe big. We gonna celebrate big. So uh, we ain't gonna go into too many details, you know. People watching, but we gonna go. We gonna go big. We gonna go big tonight for sure. <laughs> Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.